Happy National Face Mask Day, everyone. Yes, we have a day for everything, don't we? Today is National Face Mask Day. And this is Robin Bush. And I'm coming at you with my voice today. <laughs> that was from our My Voice surveys at work. But today I'm just sharing you my voice um, on some lemongrass spa products because we are about our face routine this week at, in my Lemongrass VIP Facebook page. So um, I said, what a perfect day to have a face mask day. So you've seen me with washing my hair. And I have to tell you, my hair was so soft that day. It was yesterday. It came out so soft. My hair is very, very thin, though I wish, I'm hoping the rosemary, that was the first time actually that I used our rosemary shampoo, rosemary mint shampoo and conditioner. And I'm hoping that the rosemary benefits um, my hair with some hair growth, because I am really getting thin, age 60, um, thinning of the hair. So anyway, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm having a great day. Um, thinking of a song, it goes, At moments like these, I sing a song. I sing out a love song to Jesus. At moments like these, I lift up my hands. I lift up my hands and I say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you. So I just wanted to say that because at moments like these, and you might say, what moments are you talking about? What makes you want to sing a song in your life? What makes you happy? What gets your ticker going? What floats your goat? All these things that you can say. Well, having sunshine in my life today makes me happy. We have sunshine outside. It's a warm, beautiful day, not too hot. I'm not sweating like I was on the other day when I was washing my face. Um... It's just beautiful, and one big thing is I don't have to work today. I'm on vacation. I'm on staycation. I'm just doing some cleaning our house and trying to get ready, hopefully in the near future, to sell our home and move into a, uh, another place. So I'm just happy not to have to go to work today, and I, it's not that I don't like my work. I love my work, and I love going to work, but then it's also nice to take a, a break. So I'm so happy I've had um, four days off so far, maybe five. I have nine days off altogether, and we're getting to the weekend, so mine is going quite fast. And I have today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. So I have four more days, so it was five days. Uh, four more days to go to enjoy this time off work. And I wanted to share with you today about some more of our Lemongrass Spa products. And... Um, just sharing a little bit of my faith. I know not everyone is a believer and I understand that. I'm not here to judge anybody. So I hope you won't judge me because I'm just a, I guess I'm a holy roller. <laughs> I love the, I love the Lord. Okay. So um, sometimes I tend to share my faith and that's who I am and you are who you are. So we just are who we are together. I thought I didn't have any of my charcoal soap. You can see that it's broken. It's not really broken. I cut a piece off. Um, this is our um, charcoal soap. Um, I love, this is my favorite facial soap. It is soft lather cleansing. Feels great after you wash your face with it. And the reason why I cut a piece off is because it lasts longer if you um, take it in smaller sections when you're taking it into the shower or using it to wash your face because, um, you know, the water and the moisture from the shower melts your soap. So if you want your soap to last, it's a good idea, especially when it's a face soap, because you don't need the whole bar like you do when you're using it for your body. Um, but having a piece makes it last longer. Our soaps come in beautiful boxes. 
These are all handcrafted, fresh, natural um, products. This is Charcoal Detox Facial Bar Soap, and it comes in a nice box. It smells delightful. I even love the smell of it. It's uh, nut-free, cruelty-free, vegan, handcrafted. Creates a rich lather, and that's the truth, to moisturize and cleanse your face. The activated charcoal draws impurities from pores, leaving skin silky smooth. And it does exactly what it says. Use it daily to cleanse your skin. Lather to soak uh, with water. Gently massage into skin and rinse thoroughly and pat dry. I tend to rub my face when I dry it. I have to learn how to pat. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. So I wanted to read that to you, but being... You're saying, well, what are we doing about face soap? Well, you got to wash your face before you put on a mask. And today's National Face Mask Day. So I am bringing to you my favorite mask, which is our Luxury Skin Care Super Fruits Facial Mask. And it's for all skin types. This is Lemongrass Spa products, all clean and natural, organic. These are vegan, handcrafted gluten-free, cruelty-free, and this one, I would just want to read to you the benefits of it because I'm always going to forget something at my age here. I just keep forgetting. Even young people forget too, so I think it's a normal process of life. Depends on how much you got up here already. It can only hold so much, right? The Super Fruits Mask delivers a boost of moisture and protects your skin for a smoother and vibrant complexion. The antioxidants rich formula of cranberry, cherry, and sea buckthorn combined with the anti-aging benefits of hyaluronic, glycolic, and lactic acids will plump skin and improve your tone and texture. This gentle yet effective mask is ideal for those with concerns of skin imperfections, such as fine lines. I always show my my lip my lip my the products that I'm using, these used to be a lot worse and deeper. Like they're so deep, I'm like, how do you get them out? <laughs> you know, but I think just from using the products, I can't even like before you would see it before I even do anything like pucker. But um, these fine lines, little wrinkles, I have a wrinkle under here that's like permanent. <laughs> and um, But this soap, all these products are keeping my skin. As you can see, I don't have a lot of wrinkles, just mainly around my lip. But um, my face is um, plump from being overweight. But um, so I have these creases here and things that concern me. So these are great for those things that concern you, like the fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and dull skin, which sometimes we can have dull skin. But we have a overnight glow, glow mask, too, or glow um, treatment that, that was that blue gel stuff I was talking about before in one of my other videos. It is excellent, and it gives you wonderful glowing skin. So I hope my skin looks like it's glowing to you. I always have to have my glasses on to ring, read the small print, but I'm going to remove my glasses now and just, again, simply wash my face and then put that mask on. Um, we also have for our face a lavender goat's milk soap. Lavender goat's milk. This is also very soft cleansing. And, you know, I... I absolutely love the smell of the lavender and the goat's milk in here. Like, you can smell the lavender. It smells so good. And I use that for my whole body, not just my face, because I love it that much. Um, we have a soap sale. So I have a lot of our soaps right here with me today. I have a Honey Glow Hand and Body Bar Soap. And I believe it has little pieces of, like, oats in it. So it's a little exfoliating. You can see some of the little pieces in there it's not doesn't hurt your skin at all but mm, honey glow it smells so sweet it's a sweet smell and it smells really good but it makes your skin glow and my my favorite lemongrass spa is lemongrass signature hand and body bar soap it smells lemony oh it smells very very good um 
Mm, I can't eat it. It smells so good. And our products are safe. If you're a pet or you would happen to take a bite of this soap, it's not going to hurt you. Not recommended to eat the soap, but if you happen to ingest some of the soap, it's not going to hurt you. These are all clean, natural products that aren't going to hurt you. And the other one I have kind of matches my um, rosemary mint, but this one is spearmint eucalyptus, which is also very minty. The spearmint and the eucalyptus smell, these are like eye-opening. Like to me, this is like a refreshing eye-opening shower experience when you use this soap. Uh, you feel good and invigorated. I don't know how else to explain it, but it is very invigorating, very fresh, very clean, very eye-opening. And those are just where I'm just talking about, I've been talking about for a few days now, and some of my videos you might see them on YouTube if you happen to watch. Um, this one is going to go on YouTube as well. Um, so you'll be able to see my Robin channel. Um, and I hope to be doing things that I love to do on that channel and sharing things that I love to talk about, which is about the Lord, about life, about helping each other through life. I'm going to gently mm, wash my face so I look like a little bear or something. Oh, it just feels so good. This lather is unbelievably silky soft. I didn't even like moisture my face. I just put the water on my hands. Start scrubbing. Start <laughs> washing. Very gently. Washing. I'm going to wash my neck too. But you, if you love charcoal products and you love drawing out the impurities of your skin, <laughs> you know, all that trap, you know, we're talking about washing your hair, even on your scalp, how the dirts and the oils, they get trapped in your pores. And, you know, using clean, natural products, your skin is the biggest organ of your body, right? I've read that. Um, and it soaks in to your body, into your bloodstream, I suppose, and everywhere. Um, the things that you put on it. And also, we have to be careful what we put in our bodies. Now, I'm a very... Um, big small business supporter because I have a small business with lemongrass but not just because of that even before I was a lemongrass spa consultant I supported uh, Norwex this is a Norwex body cloth I just love 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 Norwex and that's also a clean way of cleaning your house without all the chemicals um, a lot of things you can use a cleaning rag and just water that's what they recommend. And I have cleaned with just the cleaning rag and a bucket of water when I did my spring cleaning and I was amazed at the products and the wonderful job they did cleaning. The mop. I have a mop. Um, I just love the warm water all over my face so you can see I'm just like, I'm supposed to, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to cut yet. But. Just want a nice clean face when you put a mask on. You want to get that dirt and oil that's trapped in your pores. And these products are also very good, especially this mask for your pores. If you have large pores, and sometimes you you can see them large pores opened up on your face, and it's not too pretty. Mine are larger on my nose and on my chin. You can see. So it's good to get that dirt and oil out of there and get that face clean. You know, you're exfoliating like I did on yesterday. Gets that st dry skin off and gets it cleaned up so that your pores don't look so big. Um, and then your face looks smoother. See? The sides of my face are good. They don't have big pores on the side of my face, my forehead, my nose is a little bit you know big around here and I guess because if I am going to get oily that's where I get oily like my t-zone here sometimes my cheeks but mostly just down the middle you see your t-zone but that's where I get oily at 
This Super Fruits mask, I read some of the ingredients. You can smell the fruits in it, and it smells amazing. When I put this on my face, like all day at work, I feel like I can smell it. You know, and you're going to rinse it off, but I just probably shouldn't be getting it too close to my eye. But of course, I tried. You remember when we had COVID um, not too long ago, 21, 22, we had these headbands from work. There's a button on each side, so when you put your mask on, you don't have, it was hurting like behind your ears. You could put your mask loops on the, the buttons and it would keep it from hurting the back of your ears. So I love this headband back then. It was really a godsend. Somebody made dozens of them and sent them to, I work in the ICU and we were the COVID unit. So somebody was so kind to make them and send them to us to wear, to help, you know, cause that was really, I don't know if anybody ever experienced the pain behind your ears from wearing those masks. My daughter and I went to the movies last night and um, we watched a Disney movie, <laughs> The Haunted Mansion. I'm really not into horrors, but it was kind of like a comedy horror. <laughs> so there were some scary parts, but uh, it was funny. They made it funny in a lot of the parts. So sad in a couple, funny in some. So... The problem was we wanted to watch another movie. can't even remember the name of it right now. But um, it wasn't playing. And I'm off work. So yesterday was the day that we could go together. And we went to a place in Erie here called Pineapple Eddie's for dinner. First time I've ever been there. It's a quiet little bistro um, on the corner of... West 10th Street, and can't remember the name of the street, but it's kind of, I don't know. If you're not in the area, you're not going to know anyway, but um, it was really delicious southern food. And I had some, shouldn't have had the fried chicken, but it was very moist and juicy. And if I wouldn't have ate, if they wouldn't have fried the chicken skin so crisp, I'm talking about it was like not black burnt but it was like brown crisp and so I ate some of the skin but I should try not to eat the skin that's where all the grease was but it was absolutely delicious I had some garlic mashed potatoes with it I couldn't eat the french fries I had two starches because um their vegetable had cabbage in it and I'm not cabbage doesn't agree with me um another thing you might hear me talk about which just kind of opened the door about what doesn't agree with me is um, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> I have it, and I've had it for several, several years, and I could tell you lots of stories, but we're not gonna get into that today. But I'm hoping that these this mask I'm gonna leave on for 10 and 15 minutes. You see my brain is a little scattered, so I apologize, I'm talking about one thing and then I hop to another because that thought came, so you know that I'm let, leaving this on. And I might not talk to you for 10 or 15 minutes, I probably will take it off sooner. So you're not tied up, but um, getting back to the ir irritable bowel syndrome, these things people have in life, and I feel like somebody out there probably has it too, and then we could relate and help each other. You know, it's like trial and error trying to find out what you can eat and what you can't when everything that you do eat upsets your stomach, and then you have to worry about being near a bathroom because you never know when it's going to hit you, and that's the worst part of irritable bowel syndrome to me is the unexpected, you know, that look when you get like, and then you want to hold your cheeks together real tight and get to the bathroom. <laughs> so I know too much information, but this is life and I'm open book. I just share and um, I hope that other people will share with me too and that we could help each other through life. And, you know, as I've already mentioned, my love for the Lord, I rely on the Lord. My hope is in the Lord. My trust is in the Lord. I believe in an unseen God because I've seen this unseen God do many miracles in my life. 
and I'll probably get into some of them. But even the illustration of salvation, that was something that the Lord showed me. I should have put that all the way down on my neck, everyone. So when you do your mask, <laughs> I'm going into something else again. This is my scattered brain. It starts here and it ends up over here and then it goes over there. And do I look scary? I probably would probably do a good part on that haunted mansion right now. But um, this mask, they said you could, you might feel a little tingling. I do in some areas, but not really bad. But I think when your skin's real dry, you feel more tingling. And sometimes um, in the corners of my nose here, I would think it would be more oily though. I'll feel some tingling there. But right now, this skin, this mask feels absolutely amazing. So again, happy national facial mask day. <laughs> I'm glad they have a mask uh, a day for this because everybody should at least once a week. You could do it twice a week at the most, I would say. But once a week, you should do a mask because it's like deep cleaning. You know, like when you do your deep cleaning, sometimes you do surface cleaning and then sometimes you need to do deep cleaning. This is a nice deep cleaning. I feel all the pulling. I feel the pulling. It's tightening. It does, it's not one of those cracky masks, but you can see it's getting a little dry in places. And it tightens our charcoal mask that goes with the soap is amazing too. Then we have a cocoa clay mask. So we have a lot of options and I love all three of them. I really do. So um, when there's sales, that's usually when I get my stuff. Our prices are middle of the line. You know, you got prices that are way ridiculous. And our prices are not really cheap because these are all natural, handmade, sought out ingredients that our founders, Heidi and Brian Least, are making sure that we're getting the best ingredients and the best um, products for our skin um, by maybe having to travel and find stuff and, you know, finding what works best and what, you know, helps us aging women. Um, for fine lines and wrinkles and you're never too young to start taking care of your face start now while you have a chance You know, it is like evening time here. So I'm doing this late, but um, I did I did sleep in <laughs> Today I'm I'm a late I stay up late at night and I'm a night owl I tried to change my routine several times and I'm really still working on it because I was doing really good about getting to bed by 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I work until 11.30, 12-ish at night. And then when I get home, I have to unwind. Sometimes I eat because I, I can't eat during the day as much as I'd like to <laughs> to get a good meal in because I'm worried about my stomach. So I usually wait till I get home to eat a, a full meal. And then I just eat little stuff during work time. I'm um, going to just gently start removing this mask. And rinsing. Just taking my time to show you guys. Look at how smooth my skin looks. If I might say so myself. And these products, they really do make your face glow. I've had people say it to me without me even saying anything. Or them knowing anything about me selling lemongrass. But they'll say, for 60 years old, your skin looks amazing. And I know it's not perfect, but it's pretty good for 60. I'll take it. I could have a lot more wrinkles, you know. I could have a lot of scars from all the picking of the pimples I did when I was a kid. I couldn't leave them alone. <laughs> and you're not supposed to pick. So I thank God that I don't have as many scars as I could. My eyes are still baggy today. Um, it's just one of those things I have to work with. But I did notice when I was re-watching my video a difference yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but when I put my eye cream on, it wasn't drastic, but I could see some of the puffiness under there going away. And that's what it does. It reduces the puffiness. Makes you look a little more awake. My biggest concern on this face of mine right now, I have two. The large pores down here. 
and the wrinkles around my lips. It's just, I never smoked or anything. I smile a lot, so you would think, you know, it would be stretched out. But I don't think I tucked it all my life, but it looks like I did. Or is that just part of getting old? What do you guys think? Um, but like I said, my wrinkles were a lot more noticeable than they are right now. And I started using the microderm abrasion cream a lot more consistently. Like, I don't go without it. I try not to, you know, sometimes money's an issue for me. My husband and I, my husband's retired. I'm still working. And most of the time I can get what I need. But then there's times when money's tight. You know, when the water bills do or something unexpected comes up where I can't just go and buy what I want. <laughs> you know, some people have that ability and that's great and all the more power to you. I'm not jealous and I'm not judging you <laughs> at all. I'm like, good for you. You know what I mean? Because you need to have what, what you need, right? And God did say he would supply our every need. A luxury face care item is probably not a need. But it's something that I want to care for my skin and take care of myself. So I think God sees that because it's something that works well for me. It has some of the best ingredients. I'm going to put my charcoal soap in the shower here. I'm so glad I found another bar of it. Sometimes I just need to look. I'm like, what about all those soaps I just bought? I actually bought two of the charcoal soap and I thought I only had one. Sold it to my daughter because she loves it. Her and my granddaughter. And then here, and lo and behold, well, I have that other facial stuff I've been using, my new rose water wash. You get so many good things to choose from. That's why I do not like to be overwhelmed with so many choices. How about you guys? When you have so many things to choose from. <laughs> It's like, oh, I love them all. Which one? But, you know, you can alternate. Um, you know, if you're, ha you know, this different times of your life. I could be stressed. I'm still getting pimples. I had pimples down here the other, last week. And I'm like, why am I getting pimples? Stress bumps? What is it? I want this to dry. But every time I start working on my face, I get a little hot. But can I just show you my shower curtain? You guys, I wanted to show you. Forgive. We got that twice. Goes right by each other. We need to forgive. Have faith. Faith comes from hearing the good news about Jesus. Romans 10 and 17. Forgive because the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3 and 13. Why should we hold a grudge against someone else when God has forgiven us? And I think about that all the time. Someone did something me wrong. I'm quick to forgive. Why? Because I've done some wrong things in my life, and I didn't even have hope to get out of them, but God forgave me, and I'm so thankful. This one, hope. Lord, let your unfailing love surround us, for our hope is in you. Psalms 33 and 22. So, where where is your hope today? Um, you can put your hope in your husband, your mom, your dad. Your kids, your job, but nothing is everlasting. Nothing is eternal. My parents are both deceased. I don't have them to turn to and talk to right now, but I have the Lord with me always. So, um, love. I wanted to do love. So, love. Love God with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as you would yourself. Mark 12 and 30 through 32. Okay. Just wanted to share a few verses with you today. And I hope you enjoyed the face mask video. My face is so soft and smooth. And it's almost, again, like... I don't feel like I need any face cream, but I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to put some on. I'm going into my room now. I'm sorry. But, um, <laughs> I wish I could tell you something, but I can't right now about what just happened. 
Ooh, see it's cooler in here, guys. My hair's gonna fly up, be all crazy. But so I love the products. My shampoo, my hair, like I said yesterday, was so soft. Even after I conditioned my hair on a normal basis without um, that extra hair mask, the Apple Silk, I still have to use some detangler. We have a leave-in conditioner that I can spray on my hair and comb it through, and I usually have to use that even after conditioning with this fine, thin hair. It wants to mat itself and knot up back here all the time, just in the back back there. It's almost like where I sleep probably if I lay on my back um, and it knots up back here all the time so um, I got out of the shower and I went to comb it and there was just like a little resistance and my comb just slipped right through and I'm like oh wow what a difference it is just so soft and smooth and um, I can also even when my hair is dry if I start getting frizzy because I'll do that sometimes you get frizzy from when it's raining, it was raining, pouring down rain when we left yesterday, just pouring. And that rain um, and weather like that will make your hair, to mine anyway, frizz everywhere. So I did have a frizzy head of hair when I came out of the movies. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what happened to my soft hair? And so I just took a little bit of that leave-in conditioner when it was dry. And if you put lotion on your hands, rub it in really good, you know, leave a little bit on your palms, just rub it down on your hair, and it'll just smooth your hair out without making it look greasy or anything like that. So that's my tip, and we also have body sprays. I don't have one with me, but I have an air spray one, but they come like this. This is a Christmas one, it was Colorado Pine. And I love pine, so I do like this one at Christmas time. Um, I've smelled pines that I like a lot better but this one was good it was all right and um but our body mists come like this and you can just take I'm not going to spray pine on my hair right now but just spray a little bit at a distance you know not too close because then you'll get it all soaked but you know at a distance just spray it do a spray Ooh, like that and um put that on your hair and then just rub it down a little bit and when it dries your hair is going to be soft and manageable again so let your voice be heard people have a beautiful day i know i'm oh gosh 32 minutes i really did go way over um but this getting back you know my scatterbrain how it just went right this is our vitamin c face cream it's brand new in our fall catalog and we have the vitamin c serum which is amazing serum which i could put on right now too if i wanted to it just glows it glows your skin it nourishes your skin plumps your skin gets rid of the fine lines and wrinkles it brightens your skin but this lotion actually like someone described it it smells like an orange dreamsicle you smell the orange cream it just smells like orange cream and it is so soothing so much so and it's light like i don't like the heavy um face moisturizers because like I said in the summertime I'm going to sweat them right off put them on sweat them off but this one is light it seems to be soaking in so nicely how does my skin look everyone tell me the truth I won't get mad all right I even put it on my lips mm. you think about the goodness of vitamin c when you take the vitamin putting it on your body on your face uh, and you know remember what I told you to do with the excess when you have it, feels so good. it just feels so good and it smells so delightful but you rub that on the top of your hands I got a cut right there it probably doesn't look near as bad as it did when I did it but I got cut in watermelon with a brand new knife so speaking of <laughs> supporting small businesses pampered chef tupperware i love both of them um, but i got this knife from pampered chef and it's a good knife be careful <laughs> be very careful but yeah i was just trying to scoop out like the little cup of watermelon when i was cutting all the straight pieces and i had the little cup and i went to scoop it out and i slipped and i hit that finger oh 
I was bleeding everywhere. I was like dripping blood, dripping blood. I'm on a blood thinner on top of that. And I, my husband, I had to call him up from the basement because I couldn't use both hands to try to get it to stop bleeding. But he, um, we got pressure put on it and then got a band-aid on it to hold it together. And I see I'm going to have probably a little scar, but I also got some Neosporin. Um, this anti-itch and first healing of scars to reduce the appearance of your scars. So I'm really excited because I've actually been using it since two days, yesterday and today, maybe the night before yesterday. I started late at night when we got it. And putting a little bit of that on. This is like the... I've been trying to take the band-aid off for a couple hours of the day. When I see it start turning red around it again, I just clean it real good with a dial soap. I wash my hands and clean it and dry it. Put some ointment on it and put a band-aid back on it because I don't want it to get infected. It doesn't appear to be open though, but it does start to get red around it and it feels like it, if I bumped it hard enough, I could maybe split it back open. But I think I'm going to get, I'm getting to the point where it, it's really mending together better and I'm not going to be able to split it open hopefully as easily. So I didn't mean to make this a long video. I can probably work on trying to learn how to cut parts out or you can fast forward through it, skip parts if you want. Um, I do appreciate you watching it though um, and I hope that you'll share with me. I hope people will be kind. Um, I'll always be kind to you and I hope you'll also be kind to me because I know people can say some cruel things and like I'm also on a weight loss journey so I'm overweight and I'm not afraid to admit it. You can see it as live as day. And I'm well aware of it. But it's a work in progress. Everything is a work in progress, right? Our salvation, our life. If you don't have the Lord, just making it through, working your job. You know, um, handling your obstacles. How do you decompress yourself when you're overloaded? Um... You know, just trying to get through life. And let's do it together. I can't wait until tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit of a busy day. And I might not have time to start, but I hope I do. I ordered some puzzles because that was the big idea. I've always wished I could work puzzles for a living. Who wouldn't, right? It's fun. Well, not to everybody, but to me it's that fun that if I could do a job working puzzles, that's what I would do. <laughs> But I don't want to sit all the time either. you got to get up and move around. So anyway, I'm going to be working some puzzles because life is a puzzle. And we'll probably have a little praise and worship if you don't mind. And, uh, you know, just enjoying life together when you have a few moments to sit and watch this crazy bird. Robin Bird, Robin Bush. And, uh-oh somebody's been hacked i hate that why don't why do hackers stop you have better things to do than to hack people's accounts please stop please don't do that do unto others as you would have them do unto you do you want to be hacked do you want to be taken advantage of do you want to, your privacy stolen your identity stolen no don't do it to other people god doesn't like ugly but yet nobody is ugly. My dad used to get mad if you'd call somebody ugly. He said, everybody is beautiful in their own way. And there's that's true. Out of the worst people, there's still some value down there on the inside. Sometimes people have really rough lives. And some people have, um, sometimes it's a mental thing. Sometimes people are just not capable. Um, and some are and, and won't. So, you know, you just have to... Um, you know, pray for everybody and help where you can. And um, when you when it's dangerous or you need to stay away from someone who's harmful or toxic to you, um, use your judgment. Use your good judgment. Still love them. Still pray for them. Help them if you can. Um, but keep your distance. You know, use your wisdom. Use your knowledge. All right. I love you guys. It's going to be 40 minutes very soon. So I'm going to get off of here. And I hope you have a nice day hair is flying away <laughs> pray for my hair that I get thicker hair again <laughs> how about that that matters to me too I don't want thin balding hair <laughs> but you know there's wigs so if I have to I'll wear a wig but 
thank God um, for all this. Oh, and while we're here, real quick, I know it's going to be 40 minutes, but Overnight Glow, that's the mask I've been telling you about. This is amazing, and it gives you such a glow on your skin. I keep telling you it's blue, and it's a gel. But you put it in, it's cooling. Look at it, doesn't it even look cooling? That mask is a nighttime, it's an overnight glow facial mask, but you can use it during the day too. My upline, um, Ashley, she this is one of her favorite products that she said she will not live without. Um, so if she can't help it, you know, if they took it away, we'd have to live without it. But um, this is such a valuable product to her and it gives her that overnight glow. You put it on your skin, you leave it on overnight and then just wash your face in the morning. Um, or if you like need uh, cooling in the daytime, just a refreshing and a cooling, you can you can put it on. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not like um, something that you have to wash off right away. It's gel. It's like, it's just a wet cooling gel. And <laughs> oh boy, does it feel good. So, and you know, if this stuff, I, I can't see without my glasses to read to you about it, but it's, I know that it, it gives you a glow. I know that it's moisturizing. I can feel it right now. Um, but you can put it on your face and let it even stay on there and soak in. So either way, or wait till the morning and wash it off, or however you want to use it, whatever works for you. All right, there's no set in stone directions on everything in here. It's like whatever works for you. And can I just tell you too, while I'm here, because I have all these products on my nightstand that I use every day. If I'm not in too big of a hurry, sometimes I have to skip a day if I'm really running late. <laughs> I won't stop and put this on my feet but every day I put this on my feet it's a foot mask they call it a foot mask like you would think it would be just for overnight but I put this on my foot every single day that I can before I go to work put my socks on and my heels and my rough spots around my toe my big toe and um, my feet have been the softest they've ever been and if I don't use it for a couple days I notice a difference I start getting that rough feeling around my heels again and that that big toe has a really rough spot on the corner of it um, but this stuff really is amazing this foot cream so it's a over it's a foot mask is what they call it and um, I use that daily just like a lotion so just another thing that that you can think about um, we have some new scents, cactus and guava. That's a nice, beautiful desert flower, sweet scent. Um, and we have Restore uh, Lip Balm. You're going to love this. This is a nice big jar. Look at how big the jar is. It'll last you forever, it seems like, because I get that on my finger and just... Mm. This Restore is amazing. One, one day I put it on before I went to work. And I was into work probably about, I don't know, two or three hours. And something made me just notice how soft my lips still were. Because usually I'm like, you know, you lick it off. It goes away after like 20 minutes and then you're applying more. Um, and this stuff, it really softens your lips. It's called Restore and it's a lip butter it is amazing we have more lip butters now we have lip balms lip butters um, I found my collagen eye cream and this is good for tightening skin I should be using this twice a day at least morning and night for my eyes because I got the puffy eyes all the time I think it's just from being up late at night no they don't look too bad I would say today do you think they are wrinkly and puffy that's just my eyes, how they look every day. So you put this on. And I know within minutes, I said I wasn't going to go over, but I'm going over. Okay. Um, like I said, you can watch what you want. But um, Lemongrass Spa, we have so many clean natural products. I support small businesses, Pampered Chef, Norwex, my favorites, uh, Trades of Hope. They help um, artisans in other countries that it helps keep them out of human trafficking. You know, that's huge to be able to save someone from a life of human trafficking um, to be so that they work and they make jewelry, they make purses, blankets decorations clothes um, 
I have these cute little wire bowls, I guess you'd call them. You can hang them on the wall or you can use them. Like I put fruit in them sometimes. It says love, faith, hope. Um, they're uh, made like that. I have a wallet. I have a keychain. Handmade. All these handmade stuff that these artisans make and they sell to keep their help them take care of their families you know like we just work take care of your families and not have to live um, a kind of life that is dangerous and not good for you um, to have to live um, so I like to help out other people other businesses um, Scentsy I love Scentsy the smell of the candle wax um, they have laundry stuff and I just I really love good smells you know I mentioned that before anything that smells good um, I just want it to be safe you know the chemicals to be safe <laughs> um, that smells so good and we have another thing called this was I don't think we have this I'll take that away that was like a bath salt <laughs> it's called serenity um, but we do have other bath salts we have the lavender and peppermint um, bath salts for soaking um, and conditioning for your skin and good and relaxing just so many things so I'm gonna stop looking because I'll find something else to talk about and again I thank you for watching have a wonderful day I love y'all pray for me I'll pray for you and let's do this journey together amen <music>